Okay, so I've got several things I want to talk about today. It's going to be U.S. news, really the subpoenas, uh, Lindsey Graham, and uh, this cheese bro guy. Uh, the Royals, uh, you know, Meghan Markle, what's going on there, and then democracy and Liz Cheney. So, you know, that's what I thought we'd talk about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. <music> I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, so of course, you know, these subpoenas by Fanny uh, Willis or Fonny Willis, I don't know how she pronounces it really, I think it's Fonny Willis, out of Georgia, uh, for lots of folks in the close Trump circle, but uh, Lindsey Graham, Rudy Giuliani, and this Cheesebro guy who was actually implying that uh, if the justices felt some heat, then they'd make some decisions. I mean, like the mob should go there next, or maybe it should have gone there first. I don't know, but that's cheese, bro. So it'll be um, Lindsey Graham and cheese, bro. And then uh, Meghan Markle, let's see what's going on there, because she's kind of been out of the news and see if we get an idea. And then democracy, Liz Cheney. I mean, I don't know. Is she going to run for president? Will she do well? I mean, I don't know. Let's just see about Liz. Okay, so... Um Line Strider Tarot, that's what we're going to use here. And I haven't used this in a long time. I haven't used anything in a long time, have I? But um, this will be nice for this. It's, they're kind of gentle cards, and they're very artistic. And I think the author of these is here in uh, the Seattle area. You can see at the end, I'll tell you all about the cards. Uh, but we'll sit at this box here for now and get the cards ready. So what was my note about? So, oh yeah, Lindsey Graham. And this guy, Cheesebro, from Wisconsin. Can you believe it? But yeah, uh, wanting uh, to exert pressure on the justices. And Lindsey Graham uh, res refusing or restraining himself from, from the subpoena. I mean, wouldn't it be great if these guys would just, you know, do what they're supposed to do? But first, let's have a minute. So, yeah, do what's right. You know, it's always so refreshing when that happens in life. And sadly, more and more, it's happening less and less. So, first we'll talk about uh, Graham. Okay. So, that'll be uh, regarding that subpoena to see what can the cards let us know about Graham. What can the cards let us know about Lindsay? Six cards, I think. So... One, two, three, four, five, and six. Lindsey Graham, subpoena denier. His whole life, it seems to be some kind of a shadow of mystery. So the signifier card for Lindsey, let's see if we can get into his... Uh, his uh, spirit here. So six of cups, you know, six of cups are uh, compassion and emotion in heartfelt situations. And the six of cups is wanting things to be the way they were. Remembering how things were in the past, maybe it was a simpler time or a better time and wanting to be that again. That's the signifier. I bet he wants it to be like it was in the past. Uh, the challenge to that is this eight of pentacles. And um, the eight of pentacles is really, um, oh gosh, uh, pentacles are value, they're worth. And the Eight of Pentacles is really wanting to practice that, whatever your value is, to get it down perfectly. And I think that's been his whole life, is practicing what he thought his value should be, that image that he's portraying, that role he's been playing, and uh, as opposed to who he is. And uh, he just wishes things would go back to where they were when it was simpler for him to get away with that. 
in the uh, base of this reading for Lindsey Graham. But really, I want to I hope this starts to focus in on the subpoena. So the Seven of Cups. Uh, cups, again, compassion, emotion. Uh, the Seven of Cups, it really speaks to kind of illusion and delusion. Okay, And you can see this woman is just kind of mysteriously caught up in the little bits of, I don't know, imaginary whatever is going on in her head. And uh, so the base of this whole thing is illusion and delusion. And hasn't his whole life been that? I mean... Who is this guy personally? We just don't know. And that drives everything else. The uh, past of this reading for Lindsey Graham in the subpoena situation. With this page of wands, okay, now we get the subpoena. So this is um, uh, wands are actions, forward movements, motion, go, go, move, moving something forward. But the page of the royal court is kind of the least uh, important. You know, this page just has an idea. He has a message. He brings his message to court and says, you know, what, what do you think you can do with this? And so that's the subpoenas. We think of them as being all powerful, but no, it's just a push in that direction. The sky of this uh, reading then with this page of pentacles. Well, okay, pentacles are value, earth money even and uh, but again this is an equally weak card to this page of wands so in the sky of this the very best we can hope for is just a hint of value a message of some sort of worth um, okay for this situation um, and then the uh, likely outcome we're just going to do these uh, uh, this diet at cross is the two of cups look at that partnerships so yeah he finds a way as he always does to partner up with some body some idea some whatever uh to um pull back a little shred of i don't know reputation or dignity in his mind that he can uh confuse the rest of the world with till he's gone so he starts out with the six of cups wanting things to, to be the way they were eight of pentacles really needing to practice your craft uh is what the challenge of wanting this so it's you know trying to pretend who he wants everybody to think he is is a challenge to things being the way they were and then uh underpinning the whole thing is just illusion and delusion of course in the uh, past of this with this little message of an action of emotion maybe that's the subpoena or the legal situation and in the sky with the equally weak uh offer of value with this page of pentacles and then the likely outcome like Lindsay, like so for so many people who just don't do the right thing, is a partnership uh, of some sort, some emotional um, benefit, or probably actually legal and, and life benefit. So Lindsey Graham. Now, the cheese bro guy. I don't remember his first name, but I don't think it matters. I mean, uh, with a name like that, so cheese bro. So yeah, he at some point uh, started getting printed about, I guess, is when he suggested that, yeah, maybe the justices, something along the lines of, weren't feeling the heat. My goodness. So this is Trump's inner circle. The people at the top and just outside, uh, standing at the door at the top. So let's do four cards, just four, for Cheese Bro. One, two, it all has to do with that subpoena. Three, four. Let's see what the cards, what kind of message they have about this cheese bro guy in that subpoena. First card up, King of Wands. Well, there's the subpoena. It's a much bigger presence in this guy's uh, scenario than it was in uh, Lindsey Graham. So this is the King of Wands. The subpoena for cheese bro is uh, a big deal. Uh, the next card up uh, is this Ten of Cups. So, well, you know, Ten of Cups are, is an emotionally uh, perfect situation. You get what you want. It's almost like happy family's wish is fulfilled. And uh, so Ten of Cups, uh, next up after that big action. Let's see what comes up next. So then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is, um, oh gosh, I forget, but Pentacles are value, they're worth. And the Seven of Pentacles is putting something together. I'm kind of wondering if you've done enough. Do I need to do more to this? Did I do too much? Um, but in the instance where this bird is actually building its nest, uh, so it makes you feel like, yeah, is this enough? Should I do it a little bit more? And then the last card for Cheese Bro in the subpoena situation is the world. Well, I don't know. This is beginnings and endings. This is the ending of this is definitely the ending of a cycle and definitely the beginning of something new. So to read it back again for Cheese Bro regarding the subpoena, this lion carrying that sword, that is the subpoena. This Ten of Cups is um, I think he's going to find a way to romance this back to something that's less uh, harmful. And with the Seven, seven of Pentacles, uh, you know, just worrying if you've done enough towards that end. And then with the World card, because really, no matter what, this is the end, and then will be the beginning of something new for this guy. But I think, um, you know, this, this end could have been 
later or sooner. You know, it's the events that are going on today that triggered this end uh, to start now. So we all have several kind of reinventions in our lives, I feel like, uh, when the person we were is gone and then there's a new person there, sort of. Um, so next we want to talk about uh, Meghan Markle. So she's been kind of quiet. We haven't heard much, uh, except on the hate sites. And uh, so I wonder how that's going for Meghan Markle. Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. Okay, let's see. Let's do four cards. One, two, three, four. Meghan Markle. What is going on there in that life? Okay, so first card up is judgment. Well, yeah, she's all about, everyone is judging Meg, Meghan Markle all the time. And so her life went from whatever it was before she got married, which is pretty good, I think, to uh, what it is now, which hopefully is privately very good because there's a lot of this going on on the outside. Next card up for uh, Meghan Markle, Four of Pentacles. So Four of Pentacles is, uh, Pentacles are value, they're worth, and the Four of Pentacles are typically you know, really trying to hold on to, to whatever that value is, you know, you're trying to, to not let it shift. And uh, so that's what that's all about. Judgment, holding on, um, the chariot. So the chariot is things are things happening at a rapid pace, but this is a major arcana card. And so this is interesting in that it shows this kind of crowned, I'm going to say prince. Uh, and then we have these uh, two horses going in different directions. Uh, so those are, you know, you know, strong images right there pulling against each other. Um, in the bottom of this card, there's a little 69, I'm not, is that the cancer sign? I'm not sure. And then um, I'm not sure what this represents here other than maybe a fruitful situation, but with that splash of red. So I don't know, Meghan Markle, there's definitely, you know, some uh, compelling forces uh, in her life. And it looks like it's also, of course it's all around her husband. And then the uh, final outcome of this is 10 of wands is that it's just a heavy load to carry and we can see this little girl has got it strapped on her back and she's just fallen to her knees to take a breath to get a minute before she tries to um, uh, move on so I would say none of this is easy uh, for her whether she caused it whether she's a victim of it uh, whether she perpetuates it, or whether it perpetuates her so the first card up for Meghan Markle regarding this whole situation is in judgment it's judge 24 7 okay uh, good or bad judgment uh, four pentacles is uh, really just trying to hold on. The chariot is that uh, things are coming apart or they're opposing each other in, in, a, in a kind of a way and uh, significant that we have a, a crown prince here. And then the um, final outcome for all of this is that it's just that all of these actions, all these issues are just such a heavy load uh, to carry. So not good. But I mean, sometimes that's what life is. <laughs> so uh, now, we're going to say Liz Cheney, democracy. I tell you, I've never in my life uh, thought uh, that uh, we might not have democracy until now. <laughs> and I never in my wildest dream would have imagined that that buffoon, that buffoon Trump, the, you know, the TV clown, would be the one to pull the threads apart. <laughs> Wow. I expected us to be in a whole other place. I expected uh, Hillary Clinton to be in the seat and build on what uh, success had come before her. And, uh, and now we'd be into the second term of that. And instead, I've got the Republican Hillary Clinton wannabe, Liz Cheney, who's doing a great job, by the way, um, looking like taking the lead. And, uh, and I'm glad for it. So... Liz Cheney, six cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, Liz Cheney, what can the cards clue us in for you, uh, lucky Liz, I hope, who's been through the ringer 
to get to this uh, notoriety. Okay, so the uh, signifier card of the fool. <laughs> so that's interesting. So it's a new journey. Yeah, the Republican Party dumped her, and she's had to go off on her own and hope that she's carried in what, with her what she needs and that her intuition, intuition uh, guards her step. The next one uh, is the Seven of Cups, and that's uh, illusion and delusion, exactly what she's dealing with. The next one is the Page of Wands. So this is just that, just like it was a hint uh, in that subpoena situation, this is just an idea. This is an, a little action. This is a message uh, coming to the front saying, so, and that's unfortunately uh, this horrifying message that uh, that committee is bringing forward to so many people. That's all it represents. Um, let me put these into a um, dyadic cross. So this would have been the signifier card. Uh, new journeys uh, challenged by illusion and delusion, and underpinned by this little idea of this uh, subpoena. Uh, this uh, pulling out of democracy and then the um uh past of this with this king of wands is no this was a big deal okay this was the lion's share this is trump himself with that action in the past thank god the sky of this for liz cheney with this ten of wands wow i love it when the cards repeat so we just had this for Meghan markle heavy load to bear but this little girl liz is going to take a breath when she has to and then get up and keep going and then the likely outcome of this for Liz Cheney is with this ace of swords that's fantastic truth justice rules law that's what swords are ace of swords is the greatest uh, offer of that and look this is a crowned eagle the eagle the symbol symbol of the United States of America crowned uh, with that uh, symbol of justice truth uh, rules and law uh, standing stern behind it. He's got a firm grasp on it. So that's a nice outcome for Liz Cheney. So we start out with, it's a new journey, challenged by illusion and delusion, which is certainly what they're dealing with. The, the, this little idea um, turned to a monster of an action, and it's a heavy load to bear for this uh, woman, but the Ace of Swords, this crowned uh, eagle, uh, is the outcome, and I think that's pretty good. So interesting uh, reads today. I didn't expect them to uh, be that good. Well, that's the roundup. I hope you liked it. And uh, let me know what you thought about some of that. And uh, just uh, make a comment below. Don't forget to like the video, by the way. And if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? If you lasted this long to hear me rant about why haven't you subscribed, then just subscribe. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these cards are, are th just the latest thing, I believe. So this is by the artist. Uh, is uh, Ciolo, Ciolo Thompson, Ciolo Thompson, and it's, this is called the Line Strider Tarot, the Line Strider Tarot. It comes in a great box, and it's, it's got some beautiful imagery on the outside of the box, and a nice little introduction back here. Uh, I like this, is Body, Mind, and Spirit Tarot, so very interesting. But uh, the box itself is one of the cool uh, magnetic snaps. It's beautiful, it's got a nice glossy finish, it really feels uh, like a the precious uh, stationery would come in here. The book is amazing quality. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but like each one of these pages is just, there's really good quality. And the book is full color. And it's interesting here because it talks just a little bit about Solio Thompson. And I'll just tell you very quickly that she's a self-taught visual artist and she lives in the Seattle, Washington area. And um, so this is her first uh, deck. So the first published deck anyway. And then in, over here, she's talking about this was a journey for her, and uh, the line started deck uh, has got a lot of animal uh, imagery, and that it brings in some uh, tarot images from her childhood. Now she grew up uh, where she grew up in. She was born in uh, Western Samoa, and then uh, she also uh, lived in Bolivia, and so uh, she has an amazing uh, childhood, and um, and brought a lot of attention to the cards. So there we go. The book is fantastic. The cards themselves are also pretty amazing but i mean they're a gentle spirit they're a good quality of card you know they're stiff they're uh, slicky but they don't cause a problem they shuffle uh, really well and um, so you know they're just great and then they're very easy to interpret and the reason is that uh, each card really tells you right there what's on the card okay so you don't have to just rely on the imagery but if you really look at what's drawn on there it's pretty amazing i mean and then you start to wonder why did she uh allow, uh, allow this animal for this particular uh, divination so the beautiful cards good suggestions in the book how to um you know use them and i just lay them out like this so you have a chance to look at uh, more than just the few cards that uh, you know reader pulls out when they're doing our shtick and then um 
you know, maybe um, you might decide uh, you like the cards or if you don't get to see a lot of cards. I know when I was just watching um, this stuff on uh, YouTube, I wanted to see more cards than I was seeing. So there we go. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come. So ciao for now. Really make a big difference. Thank you.